this tweet, man, to Joe Knows from Jonathan Basang, and he was talking about you want to talk, Joe Knows. You want to talk about the ridiculous VC prices this year, or are you gonna sell out? I hate that whole thing right there, man. You can't tell some tell somebody what they should be doing. It's like I can live my life the way I want to, but you need to live your life the way that I want you to live your life. That's that's such a ridiculous and nine statement. I, I hate that. But anyway, uh, I get you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you, but when your what we your viewers also put you on the map. Uh, you can be our voice or sell out like the rest. I do understand that part too that we gave you the voice that you got and blah 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 blah. So it would be nice if you would use it for us. I get that too, man. I see it from both sides. We're gonna talk about all of it in a second. Joe knows a replied and said I agree that it costs way too much to max out a player, but I hate to break it to you. I don't set the prices, uh, the VC prices, and this tweet ain't gonna make a million dollar company decide to stop making money. Now, a lot of people had a lot to say about that, man. And so Joe Nose came back and kind of clarified the boy Sis Gang said, he he said, uh, he he this is what he said. He says, when you strip them of their power or their mind, uh, they respond like this, not knowing how powerful they are, influencers. 2K don't need competition to make changes. It's uh it's up to people like yourself to start a movement. We influence, uh, we, we influencers, have more power than you think. And so uh, the boy Joe knows, he actually put out a video response or what have you. We gonna go over that in a second, man, but we just wanted to get y'all caught up and let y'all know what was going on, man, and let y'all know that I know that this is a very VC intensive game. I tell y'all every single day. That's why I told y'all make sure that you be careful with your bills, be careful with everything you do. And that's also why I'm giving away a $50 pack of VC every single day. I ain't just talking about it, I'm doing something about it. I'm helping y'all out, man. Look, $50 fact, not every day, every Friday. I ain't rich enough to do it every day. If I was, I would. But I'm giving out away a $50 pack of VC every Friday, man. Um, we haven't, it hadn't been stepped forth and been claimed, so we probably gonna double it up this week, man. So look, make sure you, all you gotta do to get qualified, make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment down in the uh, comment section and all that good stuff. And then we gonna you'll be automatically entered. And on Friday, we're gonna draw from a random video. So if you draw, if you comment and like every video, it increases your chances exponentially. But if you just do this video, hey, it's greatly appreciated. So make sure you like the video, because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100K. And we're gonna talk about that too. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now the boy Joe knows, man. He, hey, this is what he said, man. So a lot, I know a lot of people were talking about it. He got a lot of heat. And uh, so he came back and he wanted to clarify what he was saying. And we're gonna play this video right here. All right, y'all want me to talk about VC prices? Here it goes, all right? So somebody tweeted at me last night saying, are you gonna talk about how it costs too much to upgrade your player? And I literally said, I agree it costs too much to max out your player this year. And then I said, but looking logically, a billion dollar company is not gonna decide to stop making money. This, you know, here we go, 2K community. Typical sellout, crazy what getting invited to community day does, signing a contract, you ain't have to sell out like this, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, so here we go, let's address it. First of all, the contract thing, to go to community day, which was my first ever 2K event that I got invited to, the only thing I had to sign was a non-disclosure agreement. For those people that don't know what that is, remember I was talking about the embargo dates, oh, I can't post the builder until this date? That's all it was. They say, email me, do you wanna to come to community day? All we ask do. is you sign a non-disclosure agreement. Don't leak the you gameplay early is basically what I had to agree to. So I agreed to it and then I, I told you, I, sh I showed y'all the gameplay as soon as I could. That's all I had to sign. Like it wasn't like I had to give up my left arm to, to go to like, come on bro, let, let, let's, be, let's be realistic here, all right? Now let's talk about VC prices. I agree it costs way too much to upgrade your player this year, 100%. But if you think tweeting at the devs of the game who are just employees of Take-Two Interactive is gonna change the VC prices. It's not, bro. Like, that's why I'm not gonna put days and days and days and hours into this because I know right now we're we're, we're, we're in a tough spot. It's not gonna change until there's competition for 2K that takes cu customers and people say, oh, I can go over there, the game's lit, and it doesn't cost VC to upgrade players. But right now we don't have that. The only good basketball game is 2K, so we're stuck. Like, that's just logic. I, I know, oh, I'm, I'm a sellout for saying that. It's just logic, bro. Like, the, the CEO of 2K is not gonna care if we get a thing trending on Twitter saying, you know, lower VC prices. He's gonna be sitting there sipping gold from his teacup laughing about, oh, they got a trending Twitter about how my company's making too much money. Like, he's a businessman. He wants to make money, bro. So I do agree that VC prices are crazy. It costs so much to upgrade your player this year, over 400,000 VC. I agree, but I'm also looking at it from a logical business point of view 
we're in a tough spot. Things ain't gonna change just because Joe Knows puts a tweet out or because some other creator puts a tweet out. I know y'all think it might help, but until there's competition for the game that hurt that hurts their pockets. Hey, and he's absolutely right about that, man. Cause a lot of people say this, this, and that, this, that, and the third. But I mean, honestly, live came out, live nineteen came out. Nobody bought it. I bought it. Brute bought it. If you know, because you try to promote the competition. If you're not trying to help promote the competition, then you might be part of the problem too. You can't put the fact that I, I, I don't know, man. We're gonna talk about all of it in a second, though. But like I said, we're gonna go further in depth. But until something meets somebody's socioeconomic agenda or it meets their political agenda, you, you got to satisfy one of those two. Thing, ain't nothing gonna change I, I do agree with that so if you're not touching the bottom line like i can make all the videos i want to and i have made over a hundred videos calling out 2k doing all this stuff and i'm gonna show y'all what that got me in a second it, it and, and and you see what he said it like i can do it but if the people don't get on board with it, then what is it going to do? So, and, and they're not gonna do it just because I say get on board. You can look at my comment section yesterday when I, I was talking about them asking why do people buy VC, this, that, and the third. And people are like, bro, I'm not, I'm going to buy that VC. It, was, it, was, it wasn't even a 50-50 split. It was like a 70-30 split. Most people saying I, I would I would grind it if I was able to grind it. And most people was like, nah, I'm still gonna buy it if I can get my way to 85 and get out there and hoop faster. That's what I'm going to do. So until that changes, it's not really I mean, I don't think it's really much hope for us or what have you. We're going to talk about that more in a minute. Uh, Anonymous came back and said, you and I both are smarter than that. When people get together, such as yourself and other big streamers, content creators, uh, you can you can make changes happen. We we have seen it done with other games uh, to the point that they are that they even they even take microtransactions, take out microtransactions. Uh, you are the prize, uh, not not 2K. They need us. I can dig that. I can agree with that. Then Joe came back says, as cool as it sounds, as cool as that sounds, uh, you clearly like business, uh, business understanding. Influencers have talked about microtransactions for years. That's true. We had the whole no VC spent. Uh, it was Cash Nash and Christopher London, the whole two hype crew. I don't know who was bigger than them at the time. Pretty Boy Fredo. Everybody talked about it, but at the same time, I ain't even got the video. I ain't even got the game running in the background. Let me run that, man. Uh, look. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. Hey, look, I, but y'all ain't here for that anyway, because that ain't what we was even really talking about. But he said, we had Cash Nasty, all that, the whole two hype crew talking about it, man, and people just, I mean, it, it didn't really do a whole lot. We even had the whole fixed 2K trending, I think in 2K21, uh, for those who were around, a lot of people wasn't around for that for either 18, 19, or 2021. 20, so, so they wouldn't know about that. So, um, but we had all that trending, and then, I mean, they did fix some stuff, but it, it didn't really impact impact a whole lot it definitely didn't impact the uh, in the whole uh vc joint man so you know it is what it is so anyway as cool as that sounds you clearly like business uh understanding influencers have talked about microtransactions for years and look where we are a business will not stop making money because people complain until dollars stop flowing nothing will change that's common sense i ain't gonna lie to you i mean that's 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 really pretty much like on the head like you can tell me you can tell me and then he, then he also going to say goes on to say uh stop talking about the things you don't understand they are making more revenue each year unless the change unless that changes their business strategy will remain the same i want cheaper vc and so does everyone in the community who plays 2k but logically it will not happen unless financially it affects take two that's a fact, and you know, not only do we show the uh, the, the the business model of how much Take Two Interactive make, but they also show that they are making they make more than every year. They're making more and more of, of a percentage off of the microtransactions. It's like it's like instead of sixty, it's it's, it's like sixty seventy percentage now is the microtransactions. So the game is really just a gateway, and they're making more than half of the revenue off of the microtransactions. So we're seeing that more and more every year. So he's not wrong with that. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Uh, King King thing says joe you're on you're the one lacking uh in in understanding basic business practices there there's a thing called customer retention customer retention don't really apply in this one if you're if you're if uh if the uh let me let me let me just, it don't really apply here because if your revenue exceeds a certain margin customer customer retention is and like it's hard to explain but if your revenue exceeds a, a certain margin your customer retention is not the most important thing because you're you don't even notice it because the the customers that remain are are making up more than making up for that so it doesn't really apply here but i understand what he's trying to say let's think our customer retention if you want 
if you want everybody to play the game every year, you don't price gouge uh, your loyal customer base. You you uh, you increase your business the right way. Advertise brand deals, blah blah blah. But the thing is, they got a monopoly, so customer retention is 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 a it's a it's all for not. It's a uh, it's a foregone conclusion. There is no other game. So them having a monopoly uh, is. It really is a big deal. Like I know, I know other people say it's not a big deal. It's not because they don't have competition. Yes, it is. So you're talking about customer retention. Customer retention is a foregone conclusion because they got the NBA on their side and they got everything else on their side. So, so I mean, other games can't even be made. Like they said, Live wanted to put out a free game that was free to play, and then it just it, it was supported by microtransactions. The NBA said no because they have a monopoly. There's nothing that we can do. So customer retention again is a foregone conclusion. It does not apply here. The thing is, if 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 we continue to spend and buy VC at the rate that we're buying VC, it, it is what it is. And uh, and then Joe says, this is the last thing I'm gonna say on the topic. I laid out what I, I laid out what we want and what it would take to happen, and why it's going to be very challenging for that to happen. That's right, because people are gonna buy VC even in the comments. They say, I'm gonna buy that VC. It is what it is. I'm gonna buy some VC. Ooh -ee -oo. And if you don't understand this by now. Uh, you know, I can't help you. Back to regular Joe, minding my business. I can't even get mad at it, man. And let me show y'all something, man. We had these hashtags trending um, a couple of years ago, bro. Uh, this was hashtag 2K Blackout. This is what's left of that hashtag. Look at that. Everybody, I don't know if everybody just deleted their stuff or they just they decided. And then we had the hashtag no VC spent with cash nasty and all. This is what's left of it. So I don't know if everybody deleted their tweets or, or, or if those hashtags disappear over time or stuff like that. Or do people just not want to be associated with stuff like that over time? I don't know. But all I can tell you is we had those things trending to fix 2K, all that stuff trending. And now it's just like, it's, 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 it's no more. It's like a foregone, it's, it's, it's out of here, man. I do understand what they're saying, though. You do have to speak up. You do have to... um. You do have to speak up. You do have to say something about it. And I mean, maybe if, if enough content creators say something about it, uh, maybe they will do something about, you know, maybe they can ignite the fan base. But if we don't ignite, the, if the fan base is not ignited and they don't stop spending the VC, if they look at it and say, oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna buy it anyway. And one person even said, likened it to gas. is like, shoot, it's just like gas. I mean, I don't like buying gas. Those prices go up, but what I'm gonna do, stop buying gas? Like, that's how most people feel. They just feel like we just helpless in this situation. And with that being the case, it's just like, bro, like what, what can we really, really do? Like, like the only thing that you can do, like I said, if you don't meet one of the two one of the two conditions, nothing will change. It's got to, it's got to affect the political agenda, or it's got to affect, um, it's got to affect the economic agenda, capitalistic agenda. If it doesn't affect one of those two, it's not gonna, nothing, nothing will change. And the only way that can happen is, um, is if everybody just says they're not gonna do it. And then you know, like I said, if they, if they do that, and uh, the fan base gets ignited and they do it, then hey, it'll be dope, man. I mean, it is what it is, and then something will finally change. Or they gotta have some competition because that will take the customer retention part right out of it. But anyway, uh, the reason that people really ain't gonna do it though is just because, like, bro, look at me. I, I have, what, I've been on YouTube 13 years, uh, 13, 14 years, is something like that. You think I hadn't hit, I haven't hit 100,000 you think there's a reason for that? As entertaining as I am, as 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 good as I am, I'm good enough at these games and all that good stuff. But the entertainment value, as well spoken as I am, all this good stuff. You think I haven't hit over 100k for a reason? I've hit 90k like six times. Got it, lost it, got it, lost it, got it, lost it. All that in NBA 2K17, I was super pop, super positive at the beginning of 17 went from 40,000 subs to 80,000 subs and now from 17 you know then seven, middle of 17 I started like man this ain't right man I started speaking out about stuff speaking out about issues all that good stuff man what ends up happening I'm 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 at I'm between 89,000 for the last what that's what 17 18 19 20 21 current 20 21 next 22 current 22 next and now so that's eight two k's and I ain't even hit 90,000 and then at the beginning of this one I start being just positive, 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 matter of fact, and just stating the facts and stuff like that, pulling back from all the negativity and stuff like that. And what happens? I'm almost at 93, 93,000. Like we just pushed up. We might hit 100K by the end of the year. And so when you look at you look at how that works. And like I said, I made I made hundreds of videos on Call of Duty, hundreds. And I made over a hundred calling out 2K and talking about specific things and stuff like that. 
and and I know they're listening because they always fix it exactly how I say they should fix it. But you know, it, and then it, it is what it is, bro. The, the problem is when you do stuff like that, people know and they're hyper aware of this. You're gonna get shadow banned. You're gonna get blackballed. You're gonna be toxic. Nobody gonna wanna. Nobody's gonna wanna mess with you. And that's why I'm right where I am right now. And 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 I don't. You know, it is what it is. I mean, that's why I am where I am right now. But now, like I said, I changed that up. And you think that they can't see the same thing that I see? They go, they stop talking about stuff, go ultra positive, and boom, it's just to the moon. Like it is what it is. So I mean, as far as that goes, bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna rock with y'all. I'm gonna rock with the community. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do everything. But I think I, I done done everything that I can do. And I'm gonna tell y'all kind of like what Black Dynamite said right here. When your so-called revolution starts, you call me, and I'll be right down front showing you how it's done. But until then. You need to shut the fuck up when grown folks is talking. That's about all I got to say about it, man. I done, I done been in the trenches. I done did everything I could do. I done sacrificed all, everything that I'm doing. And hey, I, I can't do it no more, man. It is what it is, bro. I done seen people come in, be in the trenches with me, fight the fight with me. And then after they fight the fight with me, they see this ain't going nowhere. And then they go up there, next thing you know, they millionaires. And I'm still a hundred there right here like this. But anyway, man, let's get on to the next thing, man. Another damn my sob story. And hey, we're going to talk about the boy, The Quest, in YouTube. Bro, this is the greatest video ever. 115 flyers posted. Now can I hoop? Mm, <laughs> not quite. Here you go. What's this for? I'm gonna need you to go find my Latina maid and help her sweep the Pro-Am 5v5 and 3v3 arenas. Swept and mopped. Now can I hoop? No, cause you gotta go find Tony Hawk in the city. <laughs> and do 10 kick flips, 10 tray flips, and grind 30 rails in the city. <laughs> Let me hoop. I'm gonna need you to leave the city and take a flight to Atlanta and beat little baby at Jenga. Blindfolded. Blind <laughs> Who? Hey, I'm gonna need you to go grab that move for me, my boy. I'm some despicable me type shit. Don't come back if you drop that 25 song down with J. Cole. The streets need that MPX Jermaine. On game. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What What is this gotta do with the game? I just wanna hoop. <laughs> 2K. I just wanna hoop. Let me hoop. Let me hoop. <laughs> and a lot of us feel like that, man. We just wanna get out there and hoop, man. But like we said, we got so much stuff going on, man. So much trouble in the air. Wanna highlight something real quick, man, about the uh, the girl Lily, man. She said the worst part of being a woman in a in a male-dominated industry uh, isn't the random trolls or even the opinions of the people who you don't know. It's the people you know directly or spend time around or work with who who whether they are not know it or not reinforce the glass ceiling that's tough man i ain't gonna lie i can only imagine what it's like being a female in this industry trying to come up and do your thing and all of that stuff man godspeed to you best of luck to you um i hate to have that, that you have to go through that but Hey, you just gotta find some better people to be around, man. Get around some positive people. When you see that type of stuff, remove yourself from the situation. Keep that thing, keep going, and uh, you're gonna be straight, man. Um, and boy, hey, the boy IQ Contain says, a lot of y'all been quiet since since the 2K drop. And uh, y'all was talking crazy in 21 and 22. We already know people was talking crazy then, bro, because we we know we know that they were talking crazy. We know why they was talking crazy, because it was left, right, left, right, fade, and all this stuff, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Oh, so my guy Quavo, Quavo, man, he says, I got a feeling that this is going to be a good-ass year on this shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I got the feeling I got series and stuff coming for y'all and all that good stuff, man. So, you know, we're gonna see how that goes, man. But, hey, we're gonna end this thing off with community clips, man. Hey, I I'm gonna find a way to make this bigger in the background and all that good stuff. But for right now, this is all we got, so we're gonna go with it. The boy stacks. Hey, hold on. Can I can I do it like this? Maybe. Hey, we, let's try it like this. Let's try community clips like this today. Bow. Okay, dribbling. Okay, with the spin back. Trays up. Splash down. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's a tough one right there. That's that's tough. That's tough right there, Stacks. Hey, up to the on to the next one. Uh, we got your boy. Look at look look look, <laughs> look inside out. 
little step back. Look, okay, okay, little spin back. Hey, man, y'all can't get mad at the comp dribbling, man. These new trades up. Green bean, money team splash down, man. Y'all can't get, y'all can't get mad at the comp dribbling, man. People want to play the game the way they want to play it. That boy early. Early uh, Phantom, man, coming up the sideline. Look at him, look, cross, step back, snub, Phantom. He can't be snub no more. Pull up, drink. Okay, okay, he say the Peaks is back. He say the Peaks are back, man. Hey, check it out. Hey, we got another one right here. Little dribbling, I'm impetuous, impetual. Okay, let's step back. What is, what is this little step back? <laughs> Oh, oh, he said abort the mission. It's a kill. Okay. Oh, got him. Trays up. Splash down. And last but not least, we got we got the boy Zuli. Um, yeah. Butler. Look at little, little dribbling. Okay. 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 You see it. You see me. Little hop back and forth. Pull up. Trays up. Splash down. Like I said, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I really, I really do um respect anybody that put they put 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 everything on the line to try to get change in the game and stuff like that not gonna lie to you but you gotta realize also it's not their responsibility to do it you just hope that they would that, they, that they're gonna say hey uh i'm gonna speak up about it and he did he did speak up about it he said he agrees that the microtransactions and all that stuff are a little bit overboard and all of that so so that's been spoken on i don't know what else anybody wants joe to do in, in that situation it's like it's like you got to look at it beyond that also with a business perspective because if you if you I, I don't know man it, it's real hard to explain but it's like if you're gonna turn on if if you say too much against the game that that got you where you are then if we sponsor you you may do the same thing and then you we can't have you with a sponsorship and you saying right and stuff like that you understand what i'm saying so so they they want to feel like they, that they can feel secure in sponsorships and stuff like that man I, I don't know really what to tell you about it i think nobody's right or wrong in the situation because you get to live your life the way you want you want to live yours because i'm gonna live mine the way i want to live mine i just hate anybody that that be like i'm gonna do what i want to do but you can't do what you want to do you need to do what i tell you to do bro that's that's the most that's the most ridiculous sentiment that i've ever seen with you know in this world but that's how this world is man that's how we go anyway video already been too long man hopefully you guys enjoy the situation uh, enjoy the enjoy it let me know what you think down in the comment section if you made it this far um comment comment uh rim at the end of your put rim at the end of your comment man rim at the end of your comment and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. It's little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Godspeed, Godspeed.